Hey Tony, it's Monday, and sorry for not making it, uh, for not making this Friday, but I was sick, I went home, I had to leave, I left work early and just slept. Like, I think I slept an additional four hours or so, so that video was not going to be made. <clears throat> then Saturday, I was babysitting a toddler <clears throat> from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., then I had to drive to New Hampshire for a Christmas party, and I was there from about 5 p.m., to about, I think I got back home about 11 p.m. and promptly went to bed. <laughs> and then Sunday, as always, I was on the run from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And again, it just wasn't going to happen. So today is Monday. And don't mind my sweaty look. I was at the gym just a little bit before this because it's that time again. It is study time for the bar exam. So I'm not going to dive too much into that on this video because there's a whole series of vlogs over the summer that was just that, just me hating the exam. But today actually went pretty well. It was the first day, first day studying for this exam, and I did pretty well. It was evidence, which was one of my weaker subjects, but I did, actually, did quite well in it today, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm feeling a lot better about the exam as a whole. And so to answer your question of the week, Tony, uh, the answer is... Our decoration only, our decorating only kind of happened. I'm not going to show you our decorating table because it's an absolute disaster. But we have a tree up, and a couple little, uh, a couple little socks that are by the tree. So it didn't really do much to decorate this time. But yeah, and we, uh, if you could hear Taylor there, we we normally don't. It's not a big enough deal for us, and we're not home enough ever to really enjoy it. So I mean, it's. I'm sure somewhere down the line it'll be a little more important to us when we have, like, a house with children or with family or whatever that we actually do decorate and spend a lot of time on it. But as of right now, it doesn't matter a lot to us because we're just so busy otherwise. In which, like, because on a normal work day, I'm out of the house from 8 p.m. to 6 p.m. We usually eat dinner around 7 p.m., usually go to the gym between 6 and 7 after that, after dinner, have to shower, have to get everything ready just to do the same thing the next day. So we still have a lot of time to really like enjoy decorating. So we just really haven't. <laughs> um, which kind of, so this video, something I wanted to do about it is, so a lot of political leaders and a lot of business leaders, et cetera, et cetera, always have a list of books that they recommend that they read this year. I unfortunately haven't read too many books this year because, I mean, from January to May, I was studying for law school for the final semester, which is the hardest semester ever. And then from uh, July, from uh, May to July, really May to August, I was studying for the bar. And then August to October, I was looking for work. And so I didn't really have a lot of time to read there because I was always looking for work and working at CLA. And then since October, I've just been working every day, basically from, again, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I haven't had a lot of chance to read to read this year. But there are a number of books that I've read the past couple of years that I really want to recommend that I really think you would enjoy. Uh, so this is my year-end book reviews of books you should read. So I'm going to start with a book that I, I, I finished it in last December. So it doesn't quite fit into uh, my criteria, but I'm going to make it fit anyway because it was just an excellent book. It was called Evicted, uh, Poverty and Profit in the American City. It was a great document. It was a great um, nonfiction book. It was a biography essentially, but it also was, it was a social justice piece really. And me being a housing attorney was huge. Like, it was one of the best books I've read in a long time because of just how much I understood it and how much it really kind of affirmed that I want to be somebody who helps out people, you know, without homes. I want to help out those who are poor and can't really make, can't really do much about it. So that was a great book that I heavily recommend. A book series I think you would enjoy, this is again, going a little further back, is called Raven Shadow. It's a, good, it's a really good series. Uh, the very first book is called Blood Song, and I think it's right up your alley, Tony. It, it, it's, a fan, it's a fantasy novel. 
uh, about a really some really cool characters. Taylor and I have read it, have read most of it, and it's really good. Another one that I haven't read yet, but I would recommend two I haven't read yet, but I would recommend are uh, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green and An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. Now, I haven't read all of Turtles All the Way Down. I read, I think, probably the first quarter of it. It was really good, but just time constraints. I wasn't, a I wasn't able to finish it. An Absolutely Remarkable Thing I've heard nothing but good things about from people who I really do trust in their, in their uh, recommendations. So read it. I'm currently borrowing it from a coworker right now, but I just haven't had the time to read it. Although it should actually... Should not be an issue anymore at work days, unless I I'll, actually it'll probably still be an issue. Cause I'm going to bring my my bar prep stuff to work, so you know, after lunch I'll be reading that. So I'm not going to be reading much for the next few months, which is unfortunate. But uh, both those are really good. And now, like my last recommendation that I actually just finished the other day is called The Devil in the White City. I think you would enjoy the book because it's fascinating for one. Um, it's it's another it's another nonfiction. A uh, nonfiction story, a uh, nonfiction book, but it tells about the uh, 1893 Chicago World's Fair and the serial killer H. H. Holmes, who used the fair to lure his victims to their death. It was told brilliantly, was meticulously researched. Really, one of my favorite books I've read in a while, because it was just that good and just that fascinating to kind of see the wonder and the the, the wonder of humanity and the mon and the monstrous nature of humanity. So I heavily recommend it. I think you would enjoy it. So Tony, my question for you is, what books have you read this year that you would really, that you would really recommend? Tony, I'll see you tomorrow. Later, bro.